the ancient Egyptians were one of the world's most extraordinary civilizations. In terms of art, architecture, and science, they were light years ahead of practically everyone else. So much so that modern-day historians can't figure out where they got their information. Many ancient Egyptian discoveries are still being debated by historians and scientists today. But there are still plenty of mysteries surrounding ancient Egypt. And recently, archaeologists discovered some fascinating artifacts, from spells for the afterlife to the pit of giant hands. Many people still think that the ancient Egyptians had to have come into touch with extraterrestrial aliens because of the extraordinary exploits they had accomplished. How terrifying are Egypt's ancient civilizations? Let's investigate to find out. Pit of Giant Hands A group of archaeologists excavating a palace in Egypt's ancient city of Avaris uncovered a gruesome find. They discovered 16 human hand bones buried in four trenches. Two holes are positioned in front of what seems to be a throne chamber, each containing one hand. The 14 remaining hands are housed in two more pits built somewhat later in the palace's exterior area. There are no left hands, they're all right hands. Isn't it eerily mysterious? The discoveries unearthed in the Nile Delta northeast of Cairo date back around 3600 years to a period when the Hyksos, a race thought to have originated in northern Canaan, ruled over a portion of Egypt and established their capital at Avaris, now known as Tel El Daba. One of the Hyksos monarchs, King Hayan, utilized the palace during the time the hands were buried. According to BTAC, in the most current issue of the magazine Egyptian Archaeology, the hands seem to be the first tangible proof of a practice attested to in ancient Egyptian texts and art in which a soldier would deliver the cut-off right hand of an adversary in return for money. Both the Hyksos and the Egyptians practice cutting off an opponent's right hand. Pyramid of Giza Apart from being the most well-known of Egypt's pyramids, the Great Pyramid of Giza is also the sole one of the seven wonders of the ancient world still standing. The Great Pyramid is fascinating for various reasons, but its ability to tell time is one of its most intriguing figures. The building is a giant sundial, showing the time by casting a shadow on markings carved into the stone. The pyramid, located approximately 11 miles outside of Cairo, is also known as Khufu's Pyramid, after the 4th Dynasty king built it and ruled from 2509 to 2483 BC. King Khufu's tomb, one of Egypt's most significant, is 140 meters high and 230 meters long, was one of the country's earliest pharaohs. The king's room, the queen's chamber, and the Giza pyramid's basement rooms are the three incomplete significant chambers. The majestic 47-meter-long passageway that leads to the king's chamber is another noteworthy feature. Scientists investigated the interior structure of the pyramid. Suppose there are any yet undiscovered chambers, cavities, holes, passageways, or other structures? They used a method called cosmic, and the findings gave them more questions than they had answers to. What should have been solid rock were empty in certain places? A sizable vacuum with a diameter of 30 to 40 meters was discovered. The concealed compartment's function perplexed researchers. The Giza Pyramid is essentially devoid of the objects that individuals were typically buried with, which is one of the things that attracted researchers' attention. Mummy Juice The disturbing red liquid that gathered around three decaying mummies discovered within a 2,000-year-old burial chamber in Alexandria, Egypt's ancient port city, has developed a will of its own. The horrifying sight of three skeletons floating in the soup gave rise to the tales that the mummy juice had magical or medicinal characteristics, prompting residents to rush to bottle it. Others were concerned that its peculiar coloration indicated the presence of a metal-like mercury. Dr. Mustafa Wazuri, the General Secretary of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, dispelled early rumors that Alexander the Great's bones may be in the tomb and suggests they may have belonged to a priest instead. According to Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities, the finding of probable arrow damage to one of the skulls indicates that the bones belong to military leaders. What was this mummy juice exactly? Is the idea that it had supernatural implications true? Authorities eventually identified the liquid as sewage water rather than juice for mummies that contained an elixir of life or red mercury. However, the ugly or, in this case, stinky truth has not deterred believers, inspiring an online campaign. 250 Ancient Egyptian Mummies The most significant cache of bronze sculptures ever uncovered in the Saqqara necropolis, 150 in total, has also been recovered, along with 250 ancient Egyptian mummies. 
The spectacular collection of bronze sculptures that features Egyptian deities, including the sun god Amun, the deity of death Anubis, and two wooden statues of the goddess Isis and Nephthys, with gilded faces, also had a case. The location is now known for the buried mummified animals, although it was once known as Bubastion in honor of the goddess Bast, who assumed the shape of a cat. Combs, coal, eyeliners, bracelets, earrings, and necklaces are among the further discoveries. The Smiling Sphinx statue discovered in Egypt. Archaeologists in Egypt have discovered a Sphinx statue with a smiley face and two dimples next to the Hathor Temple, one of the nation's best preserved antiquities. The limestone object, which Motas stated was discovered within a two-level tomb close to the temple in southern Egypt, was thought to be a stylized portrayal of an old Roman emperor was discovered. According to the ministry, researchers had discovered a Roman stele written in demotic and hieroglyphic characters next to the accurately and beautifully carved sphinx. The stele's entire interpretation might reveal the identity of the carved emperor, who the Egyptian study team suggests would be Emperor Claudius. The Narmer Palette The Narmer Palette, a 5,000-year-old artifact, portrays murdered captives and a king on his knees preparing to stomp on a man's skull during ancient Egypt's unification. Another frightening find was a 4,000-year-old funerary temple discovered in Egypt, which included a treasure trove of ancient treasures, including mummy coffins. The vast burial sites are situated in Memphis, an ancient Egyptian metropolis. More than a dozen pyramids, which include Egypt's oldest, the Pyramid of Djoser, can be discovered inside the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Still, one of the fascinating discoveries was the identity of a 4,200-year-old queen. Archaeologists discovered her tomb near the Pyramid of King Teti, who ruled Egypt between 2680 and 2180 BC during the Age of the Pyramids. Queen Neet, King Teti's wife, has been given the title of an ancient female monarch. Her name was eventually found, engraved on a temple wall and inscribed on a fallen obelisk near the tomb's entrance. Hawass, the head of the archaeological team, anticipated that new discoveries would help rewrite ancient Egypt's history. His team also discovered 52 burial tunnels, each around 30 to 40 feet deep, containing more than 50 wooden coffins dating from the New Kingdom about 3,000 years ago. 3,000-year-old Pharaoh Ramses II statue On March the 9th, German and Egyptian archaeologists physically and symbolically made an incredible find. In the Cairo slum of Mataria, pieces of a colossal 3,000-year-old monument that is said to represent the famous Pharaoh Ramses II was discovered buried. The discoveries might open a new chapter for Egypt and provide a prehistoric account of the world's beginnings. The bust and head of the ancient statue that has been found are 8 meters long and are constructed of quartzite. Additionally, pieces of an obelisk with hieroglyphic writings were discovered, as well as the upper portion of a miniature statue showing Pharaoh Seti II, Ramses II's grandson. The artifacts, which will subsequently be shown in the Grand Egyptian Museum when it launches in 2018, have already started to undergo expert restoration. According to Ramses II, the universe was founded at Heliopolis, present-day Mataria, who is often regarded as the greatest pharaoh to have ever ruled the Egyptian empire. The Egyptian tourist sector, which has suffered significantly over the previous six years owing to political upheaval and terrorist assaults, might be revitalized with this most recent historical discovery. Ancient Lost City The discovery of what is thought to be the most incredible ancient city ever uncovered in Egypt, buried for millennia beneath sand, has been hailed by archaeologists as one of the most significant discoveries since the uncovering of Tutankhamun's tomb. According to renowned Egyptologist Zahi Hawass, the lost golden city was found and was close to Luxor, the location of the Valley of the Kings, the discovery was the most significant ancient city of Aten in Egypt. There have also been discoveries of scarab beetle amulets, painted ceramic containers, rings, and mud bricks with Amenhotep III seals. Several neighborhoods, including a bakery complete with ovens and storage pottery, and administrative and residential districts, have been discovered after seven months of excavations. Pyramid of the Unknown Queen a century after King Tut's tomb was uncovered, investigators discovered multiple coffins, mummies, and artifacts, and a network of interconnecting underground tunnels, and the pyramid of an unknown ancient Egyptian queen. According to Egyptologist Zahi Hawass, Egypt's former state minister for antiquities, the team found her name was Neat, 
and she had yet to emerge in the historical record. As a result, further research will be required to understand her rule and narrative. Spells for the afterlife found on 52-foot papyrus scrolls from ancient Egyptian tomb. While pharaohs came and went, empires changed hands, and the Nile flooded and receded. The papyrus remained unopened, not any longer. According to Egypt's Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, archaeologists discovered the tightly coiled papyrus while excavating a tomb near the Saqqara burial complex. The papyrus scroll was still wrapped in its original packaging. The thick, brown cylinder may be seen in photos. Archaeologists transported the Waziri Papyrus I to a laboratory in Tahrir, where it was meticulously open. The scroll was around 52 feet long when fully unrolled. According to scholars, the papyrus was a version of the Book of the Dead that belonged to Amos. It featured 113 chapters of spells, chants, and prayers to help Amos navigate the afterlife. According to the experts, the papyrus's first scene portrays Amos worshipping Osiris, the ancient Egyptian deity of the dead, after an initial blank area. The scroll's last 150 columns are inscribed in hieratic script. According to the Getty Center, hieratic is a cursive variant of the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. The majority of the papyrus is written in black ink, with a few spots in red ink. Experts say Waziri Papyrus I is the longest and most comprehensive book of the dead in hieratic writings uncovered at Saqqara. According to officials, it is the first discovered in almost a century. According to the World History Encyclopedia, the Book of the Dead is a contemporary term for a collection of Egyptian burial literature. The time is sometimes misconstrued because the Book of the Dead was never codified, and none of the two copies of the work are precisely the same. Instead, these books were compilations of afterlife spells designed to aid the dying in their trip to heaven. According to the World History Encyclopedia, individuals would order a Book of the Dead with their name and the spells they desired included. According to a British Museum expert, some spells were cast on the deceased body to keep control and strength, to avoid losing their head or heart, and to maintain access to air, food, and water. Other spells provided the deceased with the correct answer allowing them to continue their journey to paradise without being attacked by gods or demons in the afterlife. Which of these discoveries astounds you the most? Please share your thoughts in the comment section and take care.